Good morning and welcome to NACREF's latest podcast, the second in a series of discussions on NACREF's query tool that is available on the member homepage. Me, I've been watching MoMA podcasts. This one's a bit drier and we will discuss using the advanced query screen as well as a few Excel cat tricks. In the first module, we downloaded NPI returns. In this module, we'll explore the occupancy and same store NOI growth templates. We'll explore the advanced filters and groups, then save and run an XML file and use its output in Excel's new Power Query. The query tool starts in the normal query mode. Let's flip to the advanced mode. At first, it looks like the normal mode. The data type, manager selection, and query template all work the same. What the advanced mode lets you do differently is access custom filters and grouping results. For this example, we'll use the MPI Frozen, which differs slightly from the research database. The research database is generally preferred as it contains manager updates that occur after the end of a quarter. Let's also use a different query template. There are over two dozen save templates that cover topics from equal weighted returns to value per square feet. For this demonstration, we'll look at occupancy rates. Use the template dropdown to select least percentage by quarter, then click Run Query. Some of the more common queries are saved as templates. However, the templates were designed to be enhanced and modified. As you can see by the number of return templates, there is more than one way to compute an index of returns, including, but not limited to, value versus equal weighted, ownership share for Odyssey funds, with and without leverage, and using different universes of properties from self-storage to levered only non-NPI properties. As you explore these templates, notice the subtle differences. Ask questions as it can be complex. In this module, we'll discuss the two operational templates of occupancy and NOI growth. However, many more templates are available for you to explore. The results show the occupancy time series for the full frozen NPI. This is similar to the data included in the trends report where hotels are omitted. Whereas the normal mode has easy to use checkboxes to select filters and groups, the advanced query mode uses SQL-like codes to filter and aggregate the data. Let's take a closer look at the filters or where clauses and group buys or aggregation fields. Notice there's a default where and group by clause, as well as an additional free form fields to extend the defaults. The default filter is NPI equals one and percent least is not null. Or in human, filter properties where the property is included in the NPI and that also reported a valid percent least rate. For this demonstration, let's add an additional filter for apartments starting in 2015. In the filter conditions free form field, enter property type equals A and year quarter is greater than or equal to 2015-1. So here you can see the fairly technical language used in the tool. Within the square brackets are the field names followed by an operator such as greater than or equal to sign and then the comparison value. Text values need to be enclosed in single quotes. Also note that in SQL and in the advanced mode, syntax is very important and can be tricky. In another variation, we'll use the in expression to report only the third quarter of 2019 and 2020. The group by fields allow you to aggregate the property data. The default group by field is the field name for year and quarter. Let's group the apartments further by CVSA name and then by property subtype. That breaks the apartments into garden, high rise, and low rise. We can now compute how metropolitan vacancy rates have changed over the past year. Later, we'll discuss several other group by and filter codes available. Queries may be saved and run again at a later time, as well as edited and batched together. Let's save this query and try another. 
To save, click the Save button. The XML file will be saved in your download directory. In later modules, we'll discuss how to edit these XML files to have ultimate control of the data retrieved. For our next example, let's work with the NOI growth query template. This is a different way of looking at the core component of the income return, the net operating income or NOI. Whereas the income return is the ratio of NOI to market value, this computes the growth in NOI from one quarter to the next. The data from NOI growth template is a simplified query used to make the NOI growth page in the trend spreadsheet. Because the NPI is a growing index where new managers and funds are formed, properties are both bought and sold, and new information is being added to fill in historical holes, the same store methodology ensures that a constant sample of assets are used each quarter. This constant same store sample is handled through a default where clause, specifically using the NPI flag, where a one means that it's included in the index and a zero, it is not in the index, but is included in other NACREF products, such as Odyssey Attribution or the new NPI Plus. Note the NPI lag one field is also set. This ensures the property was also in the index one quarter ago. Additionally, partial periods are omitted using the partial sale quarter field. For our demonstration, we'll also filter out hotels and limit the analysis to the past 15 years. For grouping the data, we'll add the property type to the default group by fields of year and quarter. Let's open a saved XML file and export the data to Excel for further analysis. Notice the output contains the NOI in dollars for all properties in each sample and the NOI for the prior quarter for those same properties. The NOI growth is the computed growth rate from the dollar weighted NOI amounts. Because of accounting anomalies, seasonality, and other random reasons, the NOI growth data should be smooth before using. Future modules will discuss some of these approaches. The data that is created by the query tool is unformatted and generally requires some analysis in Excel. The last video used a simple table to sort and compute returns. In this module, we'll show off a reasonably new Excel feature, the Power Query. Once you have the query tool export file saved, Use the Get Data feature to load and transform the data. Specifically, let's import the NOI Growth Excel export file. When the file loads in Navigator, click Transform. The Power Query Editor is very powerful, combining Query by Example, SQL, and Visual Basic functionality. With this power does come complexity, so to help, will get you started by showing you how to make a pivot table from the query tool export file. Once you get the hang of the new tool, you should find it easy to filter, import, and transform data. Maintaining these new little automation procedures is like editing a macro. To make the pivot in three sorta of easy steps, first use the manage columns to filter just the needed columns. In this case, the year quarter, the property type code, and the NOI growth figure, and click OK. Next, select the property type column to use as a source for the column names across to the top of the pivot table. Then, on the Transform tab, use the command Pivot Column. For the Value Column dropdown, select the NOI growth field and press OK. The result will show the property type codes across the top and the average NOI growth for each quarter. When you save and close the Power Query, the result will be a table layout, which you should find easier to work with than the traditional pivot table. We'll explore some of the other features in future modules. Let's look at some other ways to group and filter the data. The full database schema is in the online documentation in the knowledge base. Here are a few things to get you started. 
Most of these are self-explanatory and the codes and their names are in the spreadsheet code file in the knowledge base. Because the NACREF database is filled with properties that may not be part of the NPI, the flag NPI is used to check for inclusion. We have two levels of property types, a number of geographic units from state to county or metro area. The lifecycle field is important as while the NPI is delevered and an operating property index, a property may enter as a stabilized asset and then go into other phases of a life cycle as it ages. Additionally, the appraisal flag or CVI code can be checked to ensure a property has quarterly or annual valuation cycle. Well, that wraps up this NACREF podcast. We expect to keep these coming over the next several months of hibernation and we'll log all that history in the knowledge base under the new video tutorial section. Please join us for our spring virtual conference, which will cover all sorts of useful information, yada, yada, yada. Till then, enjoy the coming new year and be safe, my friends.